Richard and Rachel Kay founded Green Tech in 1994 using their house as their first office. Today, Green Tech has grown into the UK's largest award-winning landscape suppliers. We are going to hear from Richard and Rachel about their journey. Well, Green Tech was really born out of the fact that the company I was working for, Judith Bentley, went into administration prior to uh, Soltex. So I went to Soltex and uh, saw most of Bentley's suppliers who in turn agreed to give us either a credit account or make sure we got product. So we came away from Soltex quite bowed up, the fact that we got our supply chain sorted out. So on the way back from Soltex, uh, we actually popped in on one of Richard's old colleagues who owned a Headland Amenity at the time and he suggested that we call the business Green Tech and at the time he had a product called Green Tech and that we could sell that as well. So all of a sudden we had a, a van, um, £200 in the bank um, and a business name um, and that's all we needed to give us a kick up the arse to get going. Uh, Rachel and I had always wanted to work together, so after coming away from Soltex with the supply chain in hand, uh, trading name in hand, business plan in hand, it was a perfect opportunity to go for gold. So I'm incredibly proud of what we've achieved since 1994. It was just then the two of us working from our house in Borough Bridge. Two years in, we moved to an ad's farm and put in a porter cabin. Within a short space of time, we outgrew this and we then moved to some uh, redundant farm buildings in Dunmuncton. 2000 was a milestone year for us. We moved to our first proper office in Nunmuncton and stayed here until 2015. And by then we were almost up to 40 staff. In 2013, we purchased a burnt out farm stead called Rabbit Hill, just outside Borough Bridge. Over the coming 18 months, we got planning permission to uh, knock the farm down, rebuild the farmstead as it was, along with two newer houses. And we moved into Rabbit Hill Business Park in November 2015. And we've now been in there four years. The day we moved, we moved two million pounds of stock in 24 hours, all the staff, and within 48 hours, we were up and ready for business. And that was on the Monday morning, we hit the ground running and we never missed a beat. We achieved the success of Green Tech through flipping hard work, blood, set and tears, and we've always had a plan, a financial plan, a business plan, We've always been backed up by good tech in the business. We're both very data-driven, Rachel and I, and so is a whole other management team these days, and the rest of the business come to that. Our first year turnover in 1994 was £160,000. Uh, we doubled turnover every year for the first five years and then had a consolidation year. And not a lot of change to this day, we still do that now. Um, this year we hope to achieve £16.5 million in turnover. So compare that with the products, um, we had 280 products in 1994 and now we have in excess of 13,000 products. Greatech is the largest supplier of landscaping consumers in the UK currently. Over the years we aligned ourselves with manufacturers of top quality brands who we distribute from the UK. This enables us to deliver a, a wide range of products, typically next day to our customers, deliver an amazing customer service. Alongside this we've also developed our own range of products of brands which complement our trade, such as John Chambers Wildflower Seed and Green Tree Topsoils. We've always had a fantastic relationship with our customers. Um, the customer is king after all. We've listened to what they've said and reacted accordingly. So whatever problem they've brought to our doorstep, we found a solution, a workaround or a product that would fit the bill. And if we couldn't find it, we'd try and make it. We never take no for an answer. If there's a deal or a delivery to be done, we're going to get it done. At the end of the day, we are nothing without the team behind us. We have a, an amazing team. They have the same drive, focus and passion as we've driven into them. Um, for me, it's particularly important to have a personal relationship with every single one of those individuals. And I think that that is then driven home through the customer service that we deliver. One of my best memories to date though is joining the Bali Board in 2017 was an accolade for my good self. Uh, very privileged to be asked to join the Bali Board. And also winning the Affiliates Exceptional Service Award was very, very pleasing. To see Green Tech grow and develop as it has is uh, phenomenal. Probably even more amazing than that is that Richard and I are still married with three children to boot. 
But, you know, if they can take something out of what we've done with our team and we've taught them something about working together, the best memories are actually of the people that have helped us and continue on this journey to date. The digital side of the business is really contributing to the way our business is changing and we recognise that we need to change with that um, and allow people to have access to our products much more readily. But at the end of the day, they still want the technical advice, um, be that by live chat, webcams, video links. I think we will push on digitally. Great to the future. Staff come first. We love seeing people grow and mature through the business. We will continue to grow and strive to deliver amazing customer service across all our customers and all our markets. We're constantly looking to improve and grow our business. That never changes and hasn't done since day one. Um, we are looking to employ more apprentices and getting people more interested and excited in horticulture generally. So to summarise, thank you very much for watching our video. The last 25 years have been a blast and it's very much business as usual.